Hi, this is on IP address extraction. So in this module, I'm trying to do it like, uh, say, I got a website. So for that website, I'm trying to grab what is the IP address of the website. So where it's exactly hosted. So this code will provide you the web server's IP address. After getting the IP address of the web server, now I'm trying to extract the other websites available in the web server. So this is the piece of code we are going to write. Let's start it. Welcome to Wikitiki code. Find IP address of a website. So here is the continuation of the first video. Now I'm going to show you like how we are going to um, find the IP address of a website. So right click properties. Uh, let me change the background picture. Start a portion as center screen and uh, we'll go background image click it import I'll take this one this looks good right click properties um, let me make it a stretch and I'll increase the form right click properties how you zoom oh, stretch is the better option and uh, I'll remove this form bottle style to none looks good now uh, let's have the label have the label as label one so I'll have the label face the IP address of the website I'll have this label good now uh, right click right click uh, so I'll select all the labels right click properties uh, and uh, Let's change the four color as yellow and the back color as transparent. Right click properties. That is a font. I got my font. I'm going to cost you this one. Find find IP address of the web server. Or else I can have uh, the website. Right click properties, I'll have uh, the website name and uh, IP address of the website. This one any other websites available in the server so this is a plan so this will so I got my text box so let me explain it here itself I got the text box copy and paste I got another text box copy paste I got another text box so this one is text box one two three so I need a button so just grab it and put it here right click properties uh, page IP address and uh, the back color the back color where is the back color sign to fix the back color color as uh, sorry four color I will change the four color four color just like this and the flat style is flat and uh, what's the back color back color should be transparent looks good copy paste it here so over here fetch other websites So I need the link label, link label, grab it and put it here, right click properties, my back color should be transparent and the four color should be a greenish color and uh, the text is exit, so it's, click it here, this dot, 
scrolls. So, double click it and write the code this dot close. Now, so on clicking this one, so what is the website name? So, I'll take your website www.hebron.org.il So, I got an Ireland website. I'm going to show you like a how. Uh, so, we need to check it out like uh, this is purely, this is purely a security project and do not project this one as a hacking project. So, this project is to guide the hebron.org.il website for any vulnerabilities and we are trying to inform to the website owners if we find any vulnerability in this website before proceeding this project please get your prior permission from the website owners for which is considered to be ethical okay this is the website i'm trying to fetch what is the ip address of this website so double click it start writing the code so over here so here i'm not going to load the ip address of the web server click it now let's move on to a small piece of code a variable so i just address is equal to dns dots so dns dot get host oh it looks like it's an error so click it here i'm not getting it anything okay over here so dns it should be system.network.io uh, maybe i'll add a namespace let me make it try system dot uh, dot net maybe this may resolve the issue looks like uh, it's not resolving so what could be the ip address uh, let me check it out uh, meantime like uh, let me start writing a piece of code uh, and i will see like uh, how we can sort it on so dns dot get host addresses so i got my text box one dot text uh, which got uh, the website this is the website okay and uh, we need to add the libraries here oh looks good sorry so it's a d small n small is a system dot niche so it's correct we are on track okay over here like uh, i need to add the library right so as i told you like uh, we got uh, the libraries here hacking library which you can take it from our website and uh, i need to add this one here uh, references right click add reference uh, go here and uh, browse take the library this is the library yes click ok the library is added so i need to use this library dot hacking so make it as a hacking library is equal to new hacking looks good now uh, here I need to add an argument hacking library dot host arguments that's it looks like the code is ready now uh, text box to dot text is equal to address dot to string okay so let me build it start running the project what me admin form 
submit login successful click it yes i got the ip address so this website is located in this ip address but uh, let me cross check it i'm not sure whether it's correct uh, i got my command prompt uh, over here so start uh, type it command prompt you'll get this command prompt so let's see like uh, let's cross check it let's cross check it ping www.hebron.org.il 80.179.142.74 so looks the ip address is correct it's really good now i'm going to check it out like uh, this is the website for the, this is the ip address if it's a shared hosting so i'll be having this kind of option so this is a kind of an hacking so what i'm trying to do is like uh, what i'm trying to do is like uh, see this is your web server this is your web server and this web server will have one this web server will have websites this web server will be having websites and this web server will have an ip address i'm considering this is your hebron.org.website okay and uh, this one is located in the server and the ip address is this one a whole server got this ip address i'm going to find what is this website okay so let's start the program so this is going to be real interesting i'm going to show you like uh, we we got this one from that we found this one we found this one now i'm going to find this one let's start it it's going to be real interesting hope you are enjoying the thing now this is the code which other websites i'm clicking it now i'm going to write the piece of code so over here string ip address is equal to so i got it from text box 2.txt the reason is this is a text box 2 so i need to get the text box 3 now so text box 3.txt is equal to so hacking library dot get ip address of ip add this line will provide you the other websites available so try i'll put a try catch exception here if there is any exception so it will be cached okay it looks like uh, the project is ready so the second module is ready admin submit it which ip address looks good so this is another website which is available in that server this is the other website available in the server so this is how you are able to identify the other websites available in that particular server so next now let's talk about the other module which is nothing but right click add let me stop the project so right click add new item windows form over here you um, find protocol protocol in the server so this is our next module where i'm going to find out like what is the protocol which is implemented for your http request 
So this is a functionality I'm trying to implement. So I got my client and the server and I'm going to send a request through which protocol it's move on. So that's the one I'm going to show it. Let's start it.